Some juicy Eagles trade rumors to get to on today's show. You're watching Philadelphia Eagles now by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Sr. No matter where you are or how you're tuned in, greatly appreciate all of your support of the channel. On today's show, presented by a brand new sponsor here at Chat Sports, Roan, the most comfortable, breathable, stretchable shirts known to man. And you get 20% off your order if you head to roan.com slash chat with the promo code chat. We'll tell you more about them coming up here in a few minutes. So Christian McCaffrey, after the final firing of Matt Rule, there are trade rumors circulating around him, and really all teams in the NFL are going to be interested in one of the more intriguing weapons out there who can run the ball in between the tackles, has the speed to get out to the perimeter, but also is a really good pass catching threat, not just out of the backfield, but also as a wide receiver. And CBS Sports today saying that the Philadelphia Eagles, a potential trade destination for Christian McCaffrey, because we know Howie Roseman is always aggressive trying to upgrade this team. Before we dive into all of this, today's poll question is this. I want you to answer it for me right here in the comment section. Would you trade for Christian McCaffrey? I want you to sound off, voice your opinions in the comment section by giving me a Y for yes or an N for no. As for the teams reportedly interested in run CMC, a lot of them, and honestly, probably more to add to this list than what CBS Sports came out with. Buffalo Bills, Los Angeles Rams, Denver Broncos, McCaffrey's Pops played their Ed back in the day with, I believe, John Elway, San Francisco 49ers, Philadelphia Eagles, and the Washington Commanders. As you know, all of the teams on the screen here are either contenders for a Super Bowl or they need roster upgrades and are a little bit bereft at that running back position. And with the Philadelphia Eagles, they're set at running back, in my opinion, as Miles Sanders, top five in the league in rushing yards, but how he Roseman is always looking to wheel and deal if that means that he can push his poker chips to the center of the table and improve this roster. Now, Todd Pelissero, right after Matt Rule was canned by Carolina, after they got drubbed by the San Francisco 49ers in Week 5, did tweet out this. The Panthers haven't had trade talks about McCaffrey with the Bills or any other team this season, per sources. Carolina already paid most of his $8.6 million salary in a bonus. Every team will be working the phones the next few weeks, but nothing in the works with CMC. What's, so what's of note there, every team, according to Pelissero, going to be working the phones. And honestly, I'm going to look at this report and say, well, yeah, it might be true that the Panthers aren't having any conversations with any teams out there about trading away McCaffrey, but maybe the Panthers are also saying this to up the leverage for McCaffrey to get a fat package back. Now, my take on this entire situation, teams should have interest in Christian McCaffrey. And don't just look at him as a running back. You look at him as a hybrid weapon who really is a game changer in today's NFL. And that's been evidenced by what he's been able to do throughout his NFL career. Of course, injuries certainly zapped him of some of those playmaking abilities and games played during during 2020 and 2021, he only played 10 games total. But in 2018 and 2019, 16 games played each year, 32 games total, you fully saw what Christian McCaffrey is capable of. This dude is one of one and really, really special. And I thought at the time that he signed that contract that we'll take a look at coming up around the corner, that it was a good deal for the Panthers because this guy can really do everything on the field. And you look at him as a game changer. 506 carries during that span, 2,400 rushing yards, 223 catches for a back, nearly 2,000 receiving yards during those two seasons, 32 total touchdowns. So this guy can really do it all in the football field. And this year, as he's been healthy, bouncing back from those couple of injury plague seasons, McCaffrey's been solid. But honestly, I have problems with the usage and how the Panthers have used him. They rank as dead last in total offense in the NFL. They've sent him out on a couple of routes as he has 26 catches for 188 yards up to this point through five weeks, which is solid. 72 carries, 325 yards, four and a half yards per carry. But honestly, I think the Panthers should use him more like they did back a couple of years ago, 2018-19, as compared to the lack of usage that the Panthers have utilized him within that offense up to this point. I think there's a better player in there when this dude is healthy. Now, if the Eagles do make a trade for Christian McCaffrey or any other player, if they make any big move or if there's a big rumor, report, 
important news item out there. We always cover it here on Philadelphia Eagles now. And because it's Dallas week, we're having a subs competition against the Cowboys report. We were able to pick up a lot of ground yesterday. As you know, the Cowboys report an OG channel here at Chat Sports. But yesterday, nearly 100 subscribers gained. Can we do that again today? If you want to stay in the know with all things birds year round, then make sure you hit that red sub button right now. As for McCaffrey's contract, this is a little bit of a problem here. And producer Trace will get the roan coming up here in just a second. But McCaffrey's cap hit, really, really expensive. That's the look at it right now. Let's expand further on this coming up around the corner because I do want to tell you about Roan. You see the shirt that I'm rocking? If you want to look good, feel good, play good, you can do that with Roan. And that's what I'm doing on Eagles now because I think I'm bringing it right now. 20% off your order if you use the promo code chat at Roan.com slash chat. The dress shirt was due for a radical reinvention and Roan stepped up to the challenge. Roan's commuter shirt, which is the one that I'm wearing right now, is the most comfortable, breathable, flexible shirt known to man, and here's why. Their comfortable four-way stretch fabric provides breathability and flexibility that leaves you free to enjoy what life throws your way from your commute to work, or if you're playing 18 holes of golf, it's time to feel confident with a wrinkle-free shirt without the hassle. And a lot of people out there wear these dress shirts that are a little bit too baggy. They are way too long as well, but these are fit for all men out there, and you'll be looking good, looking fresh for affordable prices as well. 20% off of your order. I used to work for a local news station back in the day, and sometimes I'd tuck in my shirt like this, which is what I can do with this. But now, more casual environment here at Chat Sports. That's why I really like this shirt right here. But the flexibility of Roan is absolutely fantastic. We'll put that link in the comment section and the description of this video. One more time, rhone.com slash chat. Use the code chat. It is time to find your corner office comfort. So McCaffrey's cap it. This really is the big predicament that any team that trades for McCaffrey would be in because this guy is really, really expensive. And the injury issues the last two years leading up to 2022, certainly a little bit of a problem. Now, cap it, $8.7 million this year. That's doable. And as Tom Pellicero noted, Panthers have basically pretty much paid that off. Next year, though, $19.5 million cap hit for a running back is not ideal by any means. That's why the Cowboys and that contract with Ezekiel Elliott that's being, been prohibitive for their team-building strategy, 2024 up to 19.5, 2025, 15 and a half. That's somewhat manageable if he gives you pretty solid production as he enters his late 20s, early 30s, and then in 2026, he becomes an unrestricted free agent at 30 years old. As for his usage, this is why he's an appealing player, and this is why teams are going to be picking up the phone, they're going to hit up the Carolina Panthers and say, hey, we're interested in him, what's the asking price? The creativity that CMC can bring to any offense, especially the Eagles offense, given the ground and pound physical approach that they have, but also the creativity with some of that pre-snap motion. Very intriguing when this dude is healthy, but also why this is a little bit of a tough conversation to have if you're Philadelphia, not just fiscally and financially, but they seem to be pretty set at that running back position. Now, I understand that Miles Sanders is a very polarizing figure in Philadelphia. Some people love him. Some people hate him. I'm on the side where I think he's a really good player, and I t try to be pretty real about the situation. Sanders has special ability. He has that breakaway speed. He has durability concerns, and he's gotten injured a lot. But this guy, when he's on the field, is a very solid back, and this year he's been just that. He is currently number four in the running uh, in, in in rushing yards, excuse me, among all backs in the National Football League behind some dogs here. And Nick Chubb, Saquon Barkley, Josh Jacobs having a phenomenal year. And he's edged Damian Pierce, who's having a terrific rookie season for the Houston Texans. And Sanders isn't the pass-catching threat that Christian McCaffrey is, but he does offer some of the same elements that McCaffrey brings to an offense through the run game, that explosion that hard cut ability. He does bring some physicality to the table. You might look at Sanders and McCaffrey and think that they're a little bit slighter as compared to a Nick Chubb, as compared to a Josh Jacobs, but 
They're not afraid to lay the boom and run in between the tackles with a little bit of physicality. And Miles Sanders, while he's not the receiving threat of McCaffrey, he can catch the football out of the backfield. 87 totes this year, 414 yards. Average yards per carry is actually better than Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey behind this offensive line could be tantalizing. Three touchdowns and 10 receptions. And here's really where it comes down to for me and why I would probably side not making this trade for McCaffrey. I hate paying running backs big money. I think it's an expendable position, and I think that whether you look in free agency or in the draft, you can find really quality running backs for very affordable prices, and for Miles Sanders, he's in the final year of his rookie contract, and for being that second-round pick out of Penn State, he has a $1.2 million hit on the base salary for 2023, and a $1.7 million cap hit, and even though he's having a good year up to this point, he's top five in rushing yards among all backs in the NFL, I still think that if he goes on to have a career year as a free agent, you can bring him back for a fraction of the price of Christian McCann. McCaffrey in that eight to ten million dollar range and shoot I think even Josh Jacobs as a free agent could come a little bit cheaper than Christian McCaffrey who checks in at these astronomically high salary cap figures of 19 and a half million dollars next year as well as 2024 15.4 in 2025 then he's that unrestricted free agent at 30 years old now the Eagles do have the picks to trade if they do want to make a deal for Christian McCaffrey they would also have to clear up some money to absorb Christian McCaffrey McCaffrey's contract, not just this year, but also next year. But I'd rather use those picks that the Eagles have at their disposal to upgrade the roster at more important spots like edge rusher, trading for a guy, fellow teammate of Christian McCaffrey, Brian Burns, for the sake of that argument. So I'm going to say no, no trade for Christian McCaffrey because I like Miles Sanders. He's cheaper. And I think if you bring Sanders back next year, He's going to come at a fraction of the price of McCaffrey, and you can either bring in another back to make that running back room a little bit deeper or add to your football team elsewhere. And I want to save those assets for an important position on this roster, like edge rusher, maybe even safety, if the Eagles want to go that route as well. Now, the Birds are going to be able to run the ball either way. So whether you trade for McCaffrey or you don't, this offensive line is the best offensive line in the National Football League. So McCaffrey behind this offensive line would inject fear into the opponent. But no matter who the back is in this backfield, in my opinion, on this offense, I think the Eagles are going to be successful in running the football because that is their bread and butter, and that's one of their backbones. So one more poll question for you before we hop on out of here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's beat the Dallas Cowboys on the field and in subs gain this week. Which back would you rather have considering everything that we talked about? Health concerns, money concerns, production, MS for Miles Sanders, CM for Christian McCaffrey, embrace debate. Let us know in the comment section. Pick yourself up a roan shirt, and we'll see you next time here on Eagles Now.